Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, you're definitely welcome. This is Real Writing Tips. And in this channel, I share amazing tips that can help you spice up the way you write for good. Today's tutorial is vocabulary-ish. Actually, I've always wanted to introduce vocabulary to the channel, but I was thinking we're going to do that in months to come. But then I had an afterthought and I was like, why not bring it to the channel now? Like what would be stopping me from doing that now? And that's why I'm actually doing this. As you can tell from the title already, we're going to be learning three words that can be used in place of the word sad. Wait a minute. I know you're probably thinking, why sad? Why start a vocabulary series with the word sad? How unfortunate. <laughs> well, I didn't have any particular inspiration as to why I used the word sad. I just felt like, let's start this vocabulary series and let me just pick a random word and I just went for sad. <laughs> Everyone at one point has actually felt the emotion or the feeling of sadness. Everybody at one point has felt sad in their lives. It could actually stem from losing someone or from missing an opportunity or missing a job or losing money or, you know, just emotional stress. It could actually come from even health stress or health discomfort or health difficulties. It could actually stem out from a lot of things. So I'm pretty sure that this word is actually a very good word to start with because almost everybody can relate to it. I felt sad a lot of times in my life. I felt I felt sad a lot of times this month <laughs> and even last month. I felt sad a lot of times. Or so far, one of my saddest moments, or one of my saddest moments so far, or should I say in the past nine months, would be when I felt sick in 2021. I wanted to say last year, but then it would be a problem for anyone watching this video next year because then the last year will be this year. So I felt sick, terribly sick, and I couldn't actually do a lot of things. I was bedridden, I was shivering, I had chills, I had a headache. I had a lot of symptoms, a lot of symptoms, honestly. I had a lot of symptoms and it was just really annoying. It was, it was so depressing to not be able to eat and to also need to take drugs. But then I needed to eat to actually take my drugs, but I could not eat. That was a very sad time for me. And I don't know if this happens to you, but anytime I'm sad or anytime I'm sick, I usually like look for something to get my mind off it and in that period what I was doing was that I was binge watching makeup videos on YouTube. Wow! How silly right? Like who does that? Who falls sick and decides to binge watch makeup videos? Unless you're actually a makeup artist or you're someone who's actually enthusiastic about makeup and the beauty industry which I am not exactly that person. It would be actually weird for you to be binge watching makeup videos when you're sick but that was exactly what I was doing and that was how I was able to get through it. I'm curious though, what do you do to help yourself out whenever you're sad or whenever you're sick? Please let me know in the comments what you do. Do you actually comfort eat? Do you comfort, um, do you binge watch movies? Do you, um, do you just walk around? What do you do when you're sick or when you're sad? Please let me know in the comments. And while you do, let's get into our deal of the day. So for our deal of the day, here are three words you can use in place of sad whenever you write. Our first word is the word called dofo. That's a very interesting seven letter word. So dofo is an adjective and it has two syllables. And for the first part, it could mean full of grief or jealous. And then it could also mean expressing grief or as we already know, sad. And then for the great part, it could mean causing grief or affliction. Other words that can be formed from the word dofo include dofully, which is an adverb, and dofulness, which is a noun. I think it's really chic and nice and just that one word you could put in your piece of writing that could actually break the glass. The second word we'll be learning is the word despondent. It actually reminds me of the word correspondent. So the word despondent is an adjective. It is a 10 letter word and it has three syllables and it means feeling or showing extreme discouragement, dejection or depression. Now so far the word despondent is the only word that we've learned that actually embodies great sadness or like an extreme form of sadness or depression so I dare say it's the best word to use when you're describing such a situation. Now other words that can be used or that can be formed from despondent include despondently which is an adverb. The last word I'm going to be sharing with us is the word called disconsolate. Hmm. So disconsolate is an adjective. It has four syllables, the highest so far. It means jealous or it could also mean dejected 
or downcast. Other words that can be formed from it include disconsolately, which is an adverb, disconsolateness, which is a noun, and disconsolation. That word is a lot. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a very convenient word to use, but it's definitely elite and looks very intelligent. So yeah, I guess we could actually add it to our word bank. So I think the three words are very interesting, but my favorite word would be doleful and that's because it's a very beautiful seven letter word it's easy it sounds very interesting in my mouth and it's easy to remember and also easy to spell what's your favorite word from the three words we learned today let me know in the comments which of the three words we learned today is your favorite and tell me why i think the words disconsolate and despondent are very interesting words i think they are very elite words so maybe when i'm going for my next business conference, I'm supposed to give a speech, or when I go to the White House, I probably would say, I feel despondent and disconsolate about how the government is treating the masses. Okay, that was me being dramatic. I think the three words are very interesting. I know the three words are very interesting. I'll use do for more, but I'll be using despondent and disconsolate other times. And with that said, we've come to the end of today's tutorial slash vocabulary time. If this is your first time on my channel, you're definitely welcome to my channel. This is Real Writing Tips. And in this channel, I share amazing tips that can help spice up the way you write. And more tutorials and more vocabulary sessions are coming up in the days to come. So you definitely do not want to miss it. To never miss a thing on this channel, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell button so that you'll be the first to know whenever I share a video. Let me know in the comments if you love this video. Don't forget to share this video with a loved one. And don't forget to hit the like button if you actually love this video. And until the next video, bye and keep writing better.